Hey, music junkies, professor of rock, always here to celebrate the greatest artists and the greatest songs of all time. Today, I'm presenting to you yet another sneak preview of our premium content. It's going to be available down the road. You can sign up to be notified by just clicking on the link below. It's going to be great. There's going to be so much content, so many stories behind the songs with great artists all across the board. Also, subscribe to our channel. Today, we have a short feature with Kevin Cronin. I'm really excited. Multi-platinum mega band, Ariel Speedwagon, of course. Kevin fronts them. And he talks about a song, about a moment in his life that was a true crossroads. It's a great story. Let's get into it. So roll with the changes. Let's get into that one. How did that come about? You know, it was kind of a... Um, I remember sitting in Studio B at the old record plant on Third Avenue, the, the iconic record plant, and uh, sitting at the piano, and uh, just, I started doing this. Uh, let's see. Uh. Yeah. And just playing that riff. And it kind of, just one of those things that just happened. And I was like, oh. This is kind of whatever that was that, and that's where most, most songs kind of start from some thing, some little thing. And then it either elicits more or mm -hmm. it just lays there. And, uh, that one kind of stuck with me. And, um, a, a little later, I was, uh, I was literally moving from Chicago out to LA because the band had moved, um, while I was out of the group. And so it was like, well, I guess if I want to be in the band, if I'm going to stay with him. I got yeah. to move to LA, which I didn't really want to do because I love Chicago. But I decided, all right, if I'm going to move there, I'm not going to do it on an airplane. I want to, I want to feel the earth move under my feet, <laughs> so to speak. And, uh, and I, so I drove an old blue Pinto station wagon with a uh, Ford Pinto with a U-Haul trailer in the back from Chicago to uh, LA. And somewhere around Albuquerque, that piano riff came into my head and I started just having this idea. And the only thing I had was this brown paper bag that with some munchies in it that I'd gotten at a truck <laughs> stop. So I'm literally driving down the freeway with a, with a, with a U-Haul trailer behind me and kind of jotting the words down on, on oh, this wow. paper bag, you know, <laughs> cause I was, I was literally rolling with the changes. <laughs> Years later, when I became friendly with Stephen Stills, he he goes, he he uh, deep down believes that I copped that from uh, from Love the One You're With. I can't confirm. I didn't do it consciously. Love the One You're With is one of my favorite songs ever, and. If I if I'm honest, that organ riff at the beginning uh, in the solo roll to changes sounds a little like <laughs> the one you're with. So I, you know, I didn't mean to do it, but it uh, kind of yeah. happened that way. Thank you so much for watching. Leave us a comment on Kevin Cronin and Ario Speedwagon, so deserving of the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame. What other songs from them would you like to get the story of? Tell us about that. I had the distinct honor to sit down with Kevin and talk about Ario's entire discography for over two hours. You can see that full interview by signing up for Premium below. Celebrate Ario the right way by clicking on their merch and album links, including their music on beautiful vinyl. You can get that below in the description as well as our curated playlist about Ario. If you like our content, subscribe below and also support us on Patreon. That helps us create more videos and do more interviews. As I've said in the past, it's about keeping the music alive. This music that we've talked about from the rock era, the 1950s to the 90s and some present day, that is the greatest music of all time. We're losing these legends and it's really important to get these stories, to pass those on to the next generation that's what we're all about here at Professor of Rock. So that's all we do with anything we get on Patreon, anything else. We use it to build more stories, 
more interviews. It's just really important work. That's how I feel. Hope you feel the same. Again, stay safe out there. Please be kind to one another. And until next time, three chords and the truth, my friends. Keep the music alive, baby.